Hi, this is Dr. Centeno, and today we're going to talk about upper cervical multifidus atrophy. So basically, you've got deep muscles uh, in your neck that help to support your head on your neck. So if we look here at this sagittal cervical MRI, this is an upright MRI, and then we go off to this right side here, we can see that there's a bunch of muscles and the muscles are these dark things here. Uh, but as we get close to the spine, this is where the spine is, and this is the upper cervical spine. This is the plane we're looking at on the left. We can see that deep in here, there's a bunch of white. So within this compartment, the white equals atrophy, meaning lack of muscle, and the dark equals muscle. Uh, so this is upper cervical multifidus atrophy. So this means that the muscles that help to support the head, the bowling ball, if you will, on the stick, meaning the cervical spine, are atrophied and much, much smaller. Now, if we go down just a little bit here, we're going to go to the next level down at C3-4. We can see there's much less white in this compartment. And that means that we have very little atrophy at this level. And if we go down another level, uh, we again can see that there's much less white in this compartment, which means less atrophy. So going back up to the atrophy level here at around C23, we see multifidus atrophy. And this has been associated with patients who have headaches patients who have had a whiplash type injury and other things. And the recovery of this muscle is now associated with better outcomes after uh, an injured patient with headaches goes through a rehab program versus the patients who can't seem to recover this deep muscle. So uh, upper cervical multifidus atrophy is a thing. It's an important thing we need to be tracking more closely. And uh, many craniocervical instability patients that I treat have this upper cervical atrophy. Uh, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.